Hello and welcome to the experience and leveling tutorial for Parallel Kingdom. Look out world, here we come. Performing certain tasks allow you to accumulate experience. These tasks include killing monsters, cutting down trees, and crafting items. Experience earned is recorded as pages and appears as a blue bar at the lower left corner of your screen. Once the bar is filled up, it will prompt you to level up. Level up as soon as this happens, because your experience, or pages, will stop accumulating so long as the blue bar remains full. Tap the pages bar to level up. This will cost 80 food, but every new player starts with 300 food, so you won't have to acquire any yet. This is the best way to spend your free PK food. As soon as you agree to pay the monks 80 food, you will be taken directly to the skills menu. Each time you level up, you will receive an additional skill point. Read the descriptions of the skills to see which one you'll want to select. I'm going with combat training level 1, so I can use higher level weapons and armor. Most players agree it is good to achieve all three levels of combat training early on, because the third level gives you an excellent bonus during a fight. You'll notice that some higher level skills cost 2 points. These more powerful skills are usually worth saving up for. You'll also notice that some skill trees are locked. In the descriptions, it is explained how to access them. For example, we see that to unlock Oyoi skills, you need to collect 3 Chi from Dojo Dungeons. If you want to reclaim a skill point and use it somewhere else, you can, but it will cost food. To do this, tap a skill that you already have. A prompt will ask you if you want to reclaim the skill point for 60 food. If you agree, you will get a skill point back, which you can then use on a different skill at no further charge. So that's the basics of skills and leveling. Remember to level up as soon as you can, so you get new skills and continue to gain pages. Also, use your starting food to gain your first three levels. Then, you can either buy more food for cash to continue to gain levels, or you can trade resources with other players to get more food, but we'll cover that in the video on trading.